have a frosty start. It's the 1st of May today. What is going on with this weather? It's quite frosty. Oh, it keeps waking up. Um, yeah. Uh, but the sun is coming up, which is nice. I've got about an hour to... You can't see him. He's probably having a pee knowing him. To get Coop platted. Put the last few bits and pieces in the lorry, that kind of thing. Um, I am feeling nervous. Bound to. I do look forward to that day when I wake up and I don't feel nervous. I know that's not always a good thing, but it would be nice. It would be nice not to wake up and think, ugh. Um, but it's not bad. It's, I would say, because I've worked a lot on my mindset for the last probably two weeks or since last Wellington, actually. So I'd say it's probably, I like to like call it out of 10, and I'd say it's probably like a 5 out of 10. It's not affecting me too much, but it's there and it's irritating me. That kind of feeling. Excuse me. Um, I was saying that I don't really know why I need to feel nervous at half past six in the morning. By all means, I can. I don't mind having nerves half an hour or so. Hello, sweetheart. Before an actual competition, but you know, like three hours before. Well, even longer than that. I don't think it's needed. Good morning, sunshine. How are you? Yes. Right. I need to get on with that. Here we go. I thought I'd do a little bit of voiceover on some parts of the test. I didn't video the whole, well, I didn't put the whole test into this video because it gets a bit boring. Um, but there's a fair amount of each test in it. So this is the elementary 59. And I knew that he was never going to be at kind of top six in this class. But if we could have got a top 10, that was what I was aiming for. But he started off. He'd warmed up beautifully, so I was feeling quite positive about how he was going. He starts off nicely, but it's a little bit too nice. It could be more up together um, and just lacking, it was lacking engagement and a little bit of power. But, you know, he looks pleasant enough. The first sort of issues he had that I knew he was going to have was the leg yield. And for some reason, I guess it's age, but he's never been particularly good. Leg yield, he just doesn't move very well away from your leg. And you can see here we kind of don't actually get back to the track and we have to cut in a little bit early so I can I haven't seen my dressage test yet but I can guarantee I got penalized for that but I kind of already knew that that was an area he was going to struggle with the first medium trot was okay I mean not the most expressive but it was safe and it was clean on to this rain back again he's just looking a little long and a little strung out but the rain back was pretty clean. He was really straight, which was good. He does drag his back feet, which I know the judges don't love, but I think that's just age related. This leg yield was a little better. And here we hit our first major problem. The medium trot starts off okay, but you can just see he kind of just loses his behind. And then I have to put a bit of leg on to say, no, no, don't drop off my leg. And then it just, yes, spaghetti legs, legs go everywhere. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be about a three. So with three judges marking you, that's super expensive. Into the canter, 
Now he's really good with normally, normally, with his simple changes. And but in this test you have simple changes through trot and through walk. And he just gets really pickled by that. It's like he can only do one or the other, not both. So the first one, not an issue. Come around to the simple change to walk. It's very abrupt and he really almost halts, which is not good and also not like him. He's normally very clean with simple changes. Now, this is the one through simple change to trot, and because he's now already done a simple change to walk, he's really tricky to get to trot, and I get the trot past where he's meant to do it and only for a few steps so it wasn't great and I imagine that's going to be a five or a six. Coming in for the second simple change through walk. Again almost stops which is just so unlike him it was I was thinking my goodness please don't keep it just downing tools it felt like but I think he's a horse that gets very nervous on the inside this was our last big mistake so the medium trot down the center line wasn't too bad but he literally grinds to a halt the moment after it and I wasn't in the right place to halt yet I always thought 67% was quite generous I think I would have put it more of a 65 66 test but I was really disappointed because those few big mistakes were super costly and I just know that he can do better but like I say he's a really nervous horse on the inside and when he gets flustered he just loses it and he sort of just throws his legs everywhere and you're kind of going what's going on underneath you it's like he just panics not ideal and you wouldn't imagine at 20 so into the freestyle my favorite type of dressage because I love creating the tests for corporal and I can really make them to suit him which is why they're ideal started off so much better I was really pleased he was a lot more up together he was really listening and yeah the first parts of the test were really pleasing until this point coming up the median canter still a little weak and I'm not sure if he tripped or spooked here but yeah as you can see it just went all peaked on um, thankfully I could get him back quite quickly because I was actually meant to be doing some counter canter there so I managed to get him back on the wrong leg and into the simple change for a few strides afterwards. So at least he came back really quickly, but you can imagine that's gonna be like a story. So that's a big lot of marks to lose. Again, he sort of settles again. Things are feeling all right. Still medium canter's not looking great, but he manages to get through this counter canter a lot better. The arena was very ridgy the way it had been raped, and I, have, I just don't think he liked that. He felt like he was catching the ridges. Again, through that simple change, I mean, almost a halt, so you can't give a great mark for that. It's just really disappointing. I don't know what was going through his head. Now, the big error. He's meant to be trotting a 10 metre circle there and he tries to canter for the first half of it so again I'm imagining that's a three. That was really disappointing because I could kind of get away with the trip or the spook but yeah I was a little bit like oh my goodness we're just throwing marks away now. Settles again fairly quickly but he was just you know when I put a little bit of leg on when I needed it he tend to just run from it or overreact he actually made a little mistake in one of the medium trots I'm not sure if the judges spotted it but he did lose some balance in it towards the end so the next medium trot I was very cautious and only asked for a little bit and also didn't go too far which is the great thing about doing a freestyle you can slightly change it as you're going around if needs be so I just did a smaller bit of medium and towards the end this is the final center line he sort of dives into that halt I was amazed I got 69% to be honest and he came fourth which was even more amazing but I think that day he could have probably won that if we were on flying form but hey ho horses for you.